Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 3rd through the 9th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Aries. <clears throat> all right the overall energy for the reading the king of cups love love is here love is here big time so in the recent past, the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, the Lovers. Love is here, again. Uh, fast and furious, kind of. Uh, that kind of a way, very confusing kind of way. That's how it presents itself. I feel like a connection kind of came into your life, unpredictable. And it confused the hell out of you, this whole situation. In the current situation, the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, really trying to get everything sorted out so that you can reach that place of happiness, especially possibly within that connection. Um, there's a sense of balance that you're trying to achieve, and I feel like you're having a little bit of hard time achieving that. Um, not that it's impossible for you to get there, it's just the way to get there seems a little confusing. Um, in the immediate future, the Judgment card, the Four of Wands, the King of Pentacles. Pretty good stuff here. There's a commitment showing up, there's stability, there's transformation. For now, good. Now, let's see. Let's clarify. Let me uh, clarify the King of Cups. Ouch. The Tower, the Hangman, the Ace of Pentacles. This comes in as a challenge because I feel like there's a lot of love. And because there's a lot of love, you feel the need to do something, to ooh, explode out there and do something about it. But what you're doing is standing back, despite the fact that, ooh, I feel certain ways. So it comes in as a challenge for you to stand back and try to look at things from different perspectives so that you can gain some sort of clarity, some sort of um, a more balanced energy. Because when emotions are high, so are we, basically. So it's like, yeah, but I'm trying to stay grounded in this. You know, I'm trying to, to look for something practical, something that I can work with. Not just, hey, I love you so much, so let's go wild here. Um, so that's kind of interesting because the tower there seems like the challenge for you. Um, despite your emotions to just stand still through it all, you know? Um, let's see the Eight of Swords in the recent past. Wow, King of Cups again, the Sun, the Wheel of Fortune. So there is love and happiness here, plenty of. There was, there still is, I feel like. It, it didn't go anywhere. It just shifted. Um, the focus shifted from the love into something else, into confusion, most likely. Um, but man, it felt good while you were in the emotions of it all. Let's do the chariot. In the recent past, okay, five of wands, three of swords, three of wands conflict disagreements all sorts of things so when when you go from a highly intense kind of feeling into confusion over it that means that doubt probably came in fear probably came in lots of things that are going to take you from the love into the mind and when that happens all of that is going to burst out somehow the, the all of that energy is going to come out and if the other person is kind of in the same boat you got conflict basically um which you know created pain created who knows what words what wounds were touched and what other energies came out to the surface for the both of you to look at 
um, and it created some sort of a gap here between the two of you. Let me do the lovers in the recent past. Wow, five of swords, the lovers, the eight of swords. Yeah, uh, trust, trust issues showed up quite fast from the situation. Um, a lot of scenarios, a lot of scenarios in your mind about what's going on, in their mind probably, assumptions, uh, all sorts of things, instead of just sitting with the emotion of it, just taking it all up here and kind of letting fears, insecurities, doubts, all of that create all sorts of stories, all sorts of scenarios that more, mo most likely weren't even true necessarily. But they need it to happen so that they can bring out certain things in you. Um, let's do the Two of Pentacles in the current situation. The Empress, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Swords. So you see this other energy as having their back turned towards you. Um, which that creates the whole confusion. Because I feel like you want to take action towards them. But you see them as, mm, they're not interested. So why would I? Uh, but you want to. So that's where the Two of Pentacles comes in. There's you on one side that wants to approach this situation. There's this other person that seems to not care, not be interested. You know, from one to another here. Um, let's do the Ten of Cups. The Six of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Queen of Wands. There you are, trying to restore peace, trying to bring in the love, the love that was there initially, and it went away, and it never went away, as I said initially. It never went away. It was just kind of swallowed up in all sorts of other energies, you know, that again, needed to come up for, for some reason, but that you are standing in your power and trying to make things right, trying to... Um, bring things back to love. Let's see the judgment card in the immediate future. Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. All right, so you're following a certain path here, a path of opening up, a path of not rushing through this whole process. It's one of those things where you possibly find yourself in that place of, you know what, I'm going for this, not because I'm expecting any kind of response, but because I want to. Um, so from that place, you're creating this smooth, loving, really not rushed kind of path towards probably opening yourself up. Um, towards the other person but there there's a lot of with the judgment card being there there's a lot of growth to your side you know just being there and just kind of getting to that conclusion of why am I doing this am I doing this to get some sort of a reply some sort of confirmation validation or am I doing this because I feel like I want to you know let's do the four of wands seven of cups five of cups queen of cups well, there's a commitment here, which uh, shows up in love. I feel like it's a different kind of scenario than what we've been talking about. Um, yes, there is love. Yes, there is probably commitment here, but there's disappointment, uh, which is telling me that maybe there's a contrast. Maybe it's, yes, I have this, but it's not that, you know? It's almost looking like a comparison. Um, so I don't know what's up with this commitment. If it's here or if it's going to show up. And again, the love is there in this situation. But it's not that love. You know? Uh, let's do the King of Pentacles. That doesn't mean that you're going to chase it away or doesn't look like it. Um... I don't know. I guess we'll see. The King of Pentacles, you get the Chariot, the Page of Wands, the Six of Wands. You might go with it, actually. Um, 
I feel like this is something quite intense for you that, I, that you're still kind of trying to figure out. Uh, I don't know if there is any kind of uh, closeness here. There could be a separation. There could have been a separation for quite some time here. Um, it's just that kind of a connection that stays with you, you know, no matter what you do. And these final two arrangements of cards kind of came in to show that maybe you're moving on. You know, life happens regardless of, you know, this connection being here or not. Um, it's not a bad energy here. It's just the way you're perceiving it because you're perceiving it in contrast with this one. So if you took it as what is, without having to compare it to something else, maybe it'll feel a little better, because you don't have to compare it. This is this, and it's one of those that sticks with you, and this is showing up, and it, it brings in good energy. You know, take it as it comes, kind of thing. Um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Seven of Wands, Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups. You're a little defensive here. No, not de defensive. You want to move on. You want to go in that, okay, life goes on, boat. Uh, however, you're holding back a little. You're not fully embracing this energy of, I'm moving on. Um, understandable. It's not good nor bad. It, it just is. I see you being a little resistant to this energy, even though it's present. So if it's present here, you you probably feel it too. And because of that, you're going, eh, 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 you know, but you're still doing it. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.